Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back. I am doing some more so, um, social justice warrior videos. Now, these are collaborations of people um, trying to stand for something but falling flat on their faces because they are doing so without any education. Mm -hmm. But they're trying to play more authority to someone else in their position. So let's check these joints out. Feel free to hit that like button for me because, well, first of all, I'm Van. We are the LFR family. Welcome to the channel, okay? All right, cool. All right, and if y'all hit the like button, that just shows YouTube that you like these style videos, all right? And if you don't hit the like button, that shows YouTube. Man, screw Van and LFR family. We don't like him or anything about him or his haircut. He need to cut his hair and comb it, man. <laughs> Which is racist, by the way, because I'm black. And I should be able to wear my hair. <laughs> Oh, I say that with a straight face. Oh, it's racist, by the way. And I should be able to wear my hair the way I want to without you saying anything. Because I'm black. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So without any more wait, let's go ahead and check this out, man. Participate, though, in the comments. I just have one. Uh, yeah, I just well, want to... Oh, okay. Um, I just want to disagree with Lauren there. I feel a heavy amount of animosity towards you, but thank you for bringing this ignorance to our campus because I think it's important when you hear people from different sides. And because of the First Amendment, I can say that, right? Well, thank you. I but I do have a real question in there. Um, you're being, yeah, because there was no question mark at the end. This is going to be a real downer. <laughs> um, in your video where you debunk white privilege, you talk about how white privilege is a made up term by privileged minorities. So I was wondering if you can elaborate on some of the privileges that you think minority groups have. Okay, so for in privileges and laws. Oh my gracious, it was Ben Shapiro that she was calling ignorant? Oh man. Oh man, we need to just leave right now because he's about to embarrass that little girl. He is about to embarrass that little girl. Okay. Let me stretch. Get ready to hear this one. Uh, uh, I had to do a quick workout. All right. Get her, Ben. So when I, when I say privilege, I'm actually going to talk about legal standing. Okay, so affirmative action is a privilege. Affirmative action is a privilege. Subprime mortgages designed to appeal to minority loan to minority recipients without proper qualifications. That is a privilege. Right? Those are a couple examples of, of privilege. Privilege would also be the the police being told that they can't police in communities the same way they would in other communities because they don't understand the problems of minority communities. That's a privilege. It's, and by the way, these privileges are not helpful, but these are but as an overall matter. But they are, it is certainly a pro, it's very difficult for me to see how it's not a privilege to get a lower score on the SAT than the Asian guy who's living in exactly the same circumstance. He gets penalized 50 points, you get 230 points on the SATs. That is definitionally a privilege. So there's one. Do you disagree? Yeah, but I don't want to take okay. this time, so I'm just gonna let. Sure. She said, yeah, but I just, I disagree, but uh, I'm just gonna leave right quick before. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna leave, which way, which way is back to my seat? Because um, I don't want to talk about this no more. I, I feel offended. I'm offended that, that you offended. <laughs> you had nothing else to say because he didn't set your tail down by simply answering your question. You were so bold. You was like, you've been making ignorant statements all night and I just don't understand how. And she was so very articulate with her questioning and everything and Ben set you down. Um, no, I ain't got nothing to say. I'm just gonna go ahead and sit down. I, I didn't protest it enough. <laughs> I have done what I came up here to do, to ask a question. That's it. I didn't know you was going to ask any follow-ups. I didn't come up here with any planned follow-ups. I, 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 my notes ain't ready to answer that right there. <laughs> Listen, guys, if you're going to go question somebody like Ben Shapiro, please be ready. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it's almost like reverting back to the civil rights movement. Now we're telling fat folks that they have to buy an extra seat. Not too long ago, my grandparents had to sit on the back of a bus. It's like... It's <laughs> <laughs> Is she really upset because somebody asked her to buy an extra seat? My question is, young lady... Hmm. Are you using an extra seat? Because if you're using an extra seat, maybe you should pay for it. I don't know. I don't know. Because that's how these companies make their money. They charge per seat. 
And if they can't charge for the extra seat that uh, that extra cheek has taken, um, that means you will have to pay for it. Oh, that's discrimination. Why should I have to pay for an extra seat simply because I'm sitting in it? That's a damn good question. <laughs> No, it's not. You're going to pay for it because you're sitting in the extra seat. It's almost like segregating folks based on the way they Where? look. I, I can't imagine. Did you're you really a... say that? Calm I, down. I... Don't act like you're, you, you, you're <laughs> offended by KKK. You're, you, I, I mean, am... you're so offended by me saying that you're approaching so tough. Why do you so keep acting like tough? a victim, though? That's I, why I, I like I, to know. I, 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 no. Okay. You, first of all, you know, let it, me... Well, I don't think we can... <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's hilarious. That is absolutely hilarious. Oh, I, I can't track what you gotta add. You got an issue with what I just now said, huh? You must be race card, race card. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna play. Race card. You can let something about the KKK just sit there. <laughs> I find that so incredibly offensive and, and offensive to the people who at the hands of that despicable organization have suffered. You are coming from a totally different place than Jillian Why is coming from. Why would you project something like that on Because today? you're projecting it on it. If it is what it is, I would respect you so much more. Say what it is. You have a problem with fat people. I would respect you so much more if you said, look, fatty, I can't stand you. I hate you. I Get the weight off. No, I understand you're passionate about She's a fetist. She's a fattest. She's a oh, she's not a fattest. She is a waitest. You are waist. You are waitest. Get away from me from with your waitest self. Huh? You got an issue with my weight. That makes you a waitest. Yes. You know, this is a picture of you with your grandmother. And you obviously... I obviously hate her, don't I? Just hate her. Yeah. Hate my mom, hate my dad. Why could you say something like that? You know nothing about me other than the problem. There you you go. Know nothing May about I finish me. one statement? You know nothing I about me. I haven't gotten me. to finish one statement. If you read my blog, if you go to actionagainstobesity.com, if you go to findingfin.com, you will find out what I really am. And then if you want to criticize me, criticize me. Don't criticize me based on what the pro-fat movement writes about me. I, I, I wouldn't like that website. person either. I did, I did go if to you your say, website. But don't say if that I, I hate a certain group of people when nothing could be further from the truth. Yeah, aside from the she cleared, she wiped the floor with you, and that's pretty big to, that's pretty hard to do, you know? Um, but she wiped the floor with you. She just let you know that um, the family member that I love the most is obese. And I, and, I, and I write about it because I care about this situation so deeply. And before you jump out there and say, I hate fat people, you need to understand that the fattest person in my life is 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 closest to my heart. Yeah, I'm glad she cleared the floor with her. The statistics. Let's look at the notion that women over the past 40 years we we are better educated, which means we have more financial freedom. We don't need a man like we may have needed a couple of decades ago. Do you think there's any um, truth to the argument that perhaps men feel sort of threatened because they no longer have that power in the? Or do you think there's any? No, I think your average man's doing quite fine. They ignore most of the left feminist claptrap. They ignore people <laughs> like Van who are a very, very minority interest in our society. She's a self-declared anarchist, way, way on the extreme left of politics, representing perhaps 0.001% of thought in Australia. So she's safely ignored. The real issue for men is can they keep up in the education system at the moment among university graduates leaving uh, every year? 40% are male, 60% are female, a massive advance for women in this country. And when you look at the bottom of society, when you get away from Van's debate about women like her, because Left oh, feminism is essentially sake, selfish. Can I hear? Good. Can I speak, Andrew, without you being well, a you, participant? If, 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 are you a participant <laughs> in, in this show you or a host? If you insist upon are you insulting a professional the host other guests, or a participant? I'm trying to get to the bottom of the issue, but you try to insult the other guests. Are you the host of this program, professional and cool? Are you the host of this program, You should declare who you are, what you're doing at the beginning of the segment. You should declare your interest at the beginning of the segment. Because I can tell you, the viewers I had a gut full of you having a bet each way. Pretending you're a host, way. but really being a left-wing participant in the debate. I am trying to get to the bottom of the issue. I have no doubt no, that there not. are you're some... No, van, because I made a, a valid point. No, Storm, you didn't, please. Mark, I'm you I have no doubt point. that there are some uh, legitimate concerns <laughs> that men have about certain issues. Now, you talk about 
you know, there being more graduates uh, than women than men. Great. OK, legitimate concern. OK, we talk about the family law system, apparently these days, <laughs> sure. being skewed away from men to, in favour of women. That to, what, this is just van, not true. Please, uh, to create um, inequitable results. And is it just me? But, I, OK, I think it is just me. I'm, I'm going to let y'all know something. I'm having so much fun listening to their the way they sound while going back and forth. Bro, trust me. I I am not the type of person that will hold anything against anybody for their race or where they're from or anything like that. I just think the way that they sound while arguing back and forth is absolutely hilarious. It's it's hilarious. I'm sorry. It's 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 hilarious. I'm listening to it like, man, they are really going back and forth, but they don't sound upset. They just sound funny. I love it. I'm looking just like, whoa, oh, they are really upset about this issue. This is hilarious. <laughs> These are worth exploring. And also but do you need to run down feminism in order to no, explore no, no, those no, issues? No, no, down 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 down. Okay, well, let, yes. let's, why don't we try and keep away from point. personal the attack? Can, can, can I defend myself, marginal? please? Or is a man going to speak over me oh, about me? You're trying me? to speak <laughs> over us as Yes, Emma. you are Come speaking on, you over go. me, Mark. Here you're proving hey. my point, Mark. You're not even letting me talk about myself. Now, I've known you for 20 years. No, you haven't. I met you when I was an undergraduate at the University of Wollongong. You know for a fact I'm from a working class family from the suburbs of Sydney and no, I write about that in my work the all the time. Industry. You have to deal with the fact, Mark, that your position is the extremist one. I'm from the suburbs. <laughs> I'm state school. I'm University of Wollongong okay. and I'm a feminist commentator who's You're pointed out okay. the, fact, respect. the fact that women are discriminated against in this society. Let's talk about those trains okay. and the need for safe okay, carriages. Van, okay. Can you, you just give us a moment? on a train when I mean you were a teenager? Because I was. Excuse me, Van. I mean with this with respect to all of you. But I think personal tax not very helpful at this stage. And the really? train about 20 years ago. The practicality on the 11:30. Mark, good on you with your personal Sydney. attacks. Good on you, mate. Good yeah, to see I'm, you sticking well, to the topic. Again. Well, I am sticking yeah. to the topic. It just shows how little you know about the practicalities of life in the suburbs. Because <laughs> the idea is I don't live in a suburb. I live in a cloud. No, you live you live in in, 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 in cloud cuckoo land. Absolutely. So look, oh, yeah. the, the point is the point is that if you're on the 11:30 train out of the city and there's a women's only carriage and you're a bad bloke who wants to do damage. Well, you go straight in. You're not going to respect the pink colour. Oh, yeah, that, that's a really insightful <laughs> comment, Mark. Good on you. Why are they writing him off simply because he's not saying what the um, what was was popular on the show? Like everybody's laughing because they really don't want to pay attention to the real issues, um, and they're really trying to stick on the popular thoughts of the show, and they are really getting extremely emotional um either they're too upset or they're just trying to laugh all laugh at something that's not even there to be laughed at um and and it's just i don't know it's just setting them off it's like everybody in there are triggered but the gentleman that's talking he's like whatever i'm saying my piece just said my piece i'm cool what about y'all huh yeah, whatever. I'm going to say my piece. <laughs> and he's calm as ever, and they are just all over the place. The other gentleman he's talking to can't stay still. He keep on grabbing that piece of paper, rolling it up, um, putting it back down, rolling it back up. And the, the lady that they call themselves taking up for, Van, it's a nice name, um, by the way, um, <laughs> um, she even got shut down by her own people she was like can i take up for myself or will a man take up for me or will a man speak up for me and it was a woman it was two women and a man trying to take up for her, but she attacked the man that wasn't trying to take up for her. he was just speaking against uh, what she was saying in his own calm way. What am I missing here? Get out of your limo, pal. It's so nice to have a constructive <laughs> debate. Thanks, Mark. Uh, well, listen, Miranda, thank you. Pleasure. Um, and thank Thanks, you, Van. Thank Thanks, you, Rory, Mark. for your insight. That's what people would do, though. If they're not on the same plane as you and they, and pop you, if they're cliquish, if they're part of a clique, they're going to try to shut you down at all costs. They're going to try to shut you down. And if what you're saying makes too much sense, they will find a way to shut you up or at least quiet you. Um, and that's unfortunate because if, if you're not saying anything that's popular, sorry, get on the popular train or just be quiet. Get on the popular train or just be quiet. You can't have your own opinions. Sorry. Those are the rules.
And that's the part that I don't care for too much. But, and, and, and look, I apologize for making fun of their, um, the way that they sound while going back and forth. I don't know what language that, I mean, what, um, what dialect they were speaking in, what country they were in, but it just sound, you know, it was, it was, it was hilarious to me. And I guess I'm still a bit immature at the age of 44. I'm very mature. I'm, I'm very immature. I don't know what to say about that, but that was just hilarious to me. Don't know what to say. All right, y'all let me know whatever y'all want me to know in the comments below. And if you have yet to hit that subscribe button, please make sure you do so on your way out the door once again, guys. I am Van, and now we are all the LFR family. Why am I saying the serious outro as if I wasn't just now joking and, and being foolish for the entirety of the video? Y'all know how, y'all know me, right? Hopefully you do by now. I love y'all, man. See y'all in the next video. Now cut this off before I get in some more trouble.